الحمد لله الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهدي الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له ونشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد ان سيدنا ومولانا محمدا عبده ورسوله ارسله بالحق بشيرا ونذيرا وداعيا الى الله باذنه وسراجا منيرا اما بعد فقد قال الله سبحانه وتعالى في القران المجيد والفرقان الحميد اعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ومن الناس من يشتري له الحديث ليذل عن سبيل الله بغير علم ويتخذها هزوا اولئك لهم عذاب مهين اللهم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقده من لساني يفقهوا قولي رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقده من لساني يفقهوا قولي سبحانك لا علم لنا الا ما علمتنا انك انت العليم الحكيم اللهم انفعنا بما علمتنا وعلمنا ما ينفعنا وزدنا علما نافعا ان الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا ايها الذين امنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما صلى الله على سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى اله واصحابه وسلم صلى الله على سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى اله واصحابه وسلم Dear brothers and elders, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. I would like to get into the depth and the crux of my topic today, straight right in the middle, because I don't want to lengthy it, because I, my time is very short. Today I want to talk upon the topic, uh, which is a very common topic, and a topic that which needs to be addressed, especially, especially to our youngsters today. Most of our youngsters who are here today, I'm addressing this especially to them. because i mentioned clearly that there was three generation of mine i'm on the third generation my children is the fourth generation in this country subhanallah my grandfather my father me third generation then my children comes to the fourth generation so the third and the fourth generation these are the two generation i will say they are absolutely involved in internet social media and all these all these platforms of social media or connecting with the society now today I want to speak about the bad effect and the good effect as well about the social media itself. As we know that today it is a medium that today people are using a medium of contact using the Facebook. The Facebook or you can say Instagram or Twitter, Snapchat, WhatsApp, name it what, whatever you want to you name it. Youngsters without doubts they are using it today. You cannot deny that. If today a mufti says today gives a fatwa that all these social medias is haram we have to stop that i will say that this is the impossible people will not give it up people people cannot give up they will give up their wives they will give up their wives you'd be shocked there's many many family has been broken because of these instruments these social media they won't give it up so anyway i want to put my topic today especially talking about the facebook itself the first thing what we need to understand is Facebook itself it is a common thing people are using in the society we don't deny that we accept that now even myself i want to ask you a question i was saying how many people here are using facebook put your hand up come on don't tell me you don't use facebook don't lie in the house of allah as well how many people here uses instagram one snapchat one whatsapp everyone <laughs> What's up is everyone. So, what I want to say, brothers, that these are the norm of today. Everyone is using it. We cannot deny it. Everyone is using it. But the question is, how do we regulate ourselves? There has to be a regulation. There has to be a limit. There has to be a boundary. Everything has a boundary. We are human beings. We are not animals. Animals they have shahwat. They have desire. They don't. They don't have reasoning. Malaika, angels, they have reasonings, but they don't have shahwat. but insan they have reasoning 
and they have shahwat as well. So when you cannot control your desires, your, reason, your desires, your shahwat, then you come to the lowest of low. You come to the lowest of low. Now this is the thing. The first thing I want to pinpoint straight away is pictures. We have to be very be careful. Our mothers and sisters, either our sister, the young ones who's going to college, who are going to universities, secondary schools. We have to be very careful, even our boys and youngsters, be careful what you post of your profile picture, especially on Facebook, WhatsApp. Because today you won't believe, you won't believe that even the mobiles, even when the screen is off, there's still someone watching you. Can you believe this? Can you believe this? The screen is off, there is someone already watching you. These mobiles don't give you think that these are things that is very, very highly sophisticated and hidden. It's not hidden. Everything exposed. So the first thing we need to be careful is exposing our pictures on our profile pictures. You won't believe you won't, that there's people that once a woman, a woman or a sister, she uploads her picture. For example, a hijabi sister, she uploads her picture with a hijab, with a burqa, everything nice, mashallah. She, there's nothing, you know, intimate or anything. Now she uploads it on Facebook. You see the people following, one like piece, a person presses, one like. A thousand people has already seen that picture. And then another like, another two to three thousand people already seen that. And you won't believe, people are taking people's picture and editing it and making them nudity and naked. Can you imagine? So you don't know, you've put your wife, your sister, oh sister, you put your picture on the mobile and then you just really don't know someone is playing with your picture around you on the other side of the world. So brothers, careful, be careful. I tell you, it's very serious in the hadith about the photos itself. There is a difference between necessity. There is a difference between need and there's a difference between luxury. Today, what does youngsters, they do? They go to the cafe, I'm having a cup of tea. They go to someone's house, they, I'm with my friend. They go to the wedding, I've been to this social wedding. Another picture. They're in the streets, they take another picture. Everywhere, anywhere they go, they are showing what they're doing in their life. What is the need? This is luxury. You don't need to do this. You need to stop these kind of habits. So this is the thing. This is the thing what we need to uh, realize. The next thing what I need to mention that our sisters, they have to be careful. Yes, we were talking about the rights. Imam Sal was talking about the rights on women. But the women and the men, they need to know how to behave. We need to know how to behave. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, for the sake of Allah, Intently, I didn't never try to put my picture on Facebook. Only if it came out of a reason of that uh, purpose. There are some leeways the ulamas they've gave. I've looked into that. For example, ID, ID, passport. Or for example, there's a marriage proposal where the distance is so far, Pakistan, Bangladesh, or five to six hundred miles uh, distance. It is a need for them to see, actually get into involved. So there's many leeways for these kind of reasons, but you need to ask the scholars, am I allowed to give out photos at these purposes? Then the ulamas, they will say that, yes, for these reasons, you are allowed. But for just for luxury reason, just trashing out and dishing out your photo anywhere and everywhere, wherever you are, this is not jais. This is not jais. This is a clear cut. This is not jais. So why did this? It's very, very important for us to realize that why is this so important? The next thing is, I feel so sad to say this, and I don't, I, sometimes I feel hesitant to actually mention this. Sometimes our married sisters who are married, they have a husband, they have children, but mashallah, you see their Facebook, you know, or their faces, they've got like 12 layers of, you know, I don't know what you call that, you know, what do you call it? Makeup, 12, line, 12 layers, and then you see, you know, all that eyes. Believe me, you take, you take all that away, and you think, subhanAllah, is that the way she used to look? You won't believe there was a man, I was reading on the papers quite a while ago. There was a man got married to a woman, and this woman, she put so much makeup on her. Believe me, there was no one more beautiful than her. Then after marriage, it all came off. He, next day, he looked at her, he didn't even recognize her. <laughs> he didn't even recognize her, subhanAllah. And do you know what he done? He found her, he took her to the court. He fined her and took her to the court. Now, this is just something uh, I want you to mention in between. But I want to tell you, brothers and sisters, you need to, we need to be careful. Never expose ourselves. Look, look at what the hadith says. The hadith says three persons are cursed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A man who leaves the jama'atul muslimin. 
a slave who runs away and dies, and a woman who displays herself out of her husband's absent. Who displays herself out of her husband's absent. Tell me or not. You see. I'll tell you. I'll tell you clearly. When I walk in the streets, I can see that. I don't think a lot of husbands would like her wife to expose herself like that. I don't think so. So the Prophet ﷺ said, Curse is upon these kind of women who expose so much that out of her husband's absent. We have to be careful. We have to be careful. The next thing we need to be careful is when we upload in the pictures, people are commenting and rating. Brothers, when people are commenting and rating, people can comment to a thousand likes. If one like, if one like is not from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, people, a thousand around the world can comment to you with hundred likes. What's the benefit? What is the benefit? People are not going to follow you. You are going to go yourself to your grave. People are not going to follow you. Now let's see what the hadith says. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, إِنَّ الْمَلَائِكَ دَلَا تَدْخُلُ بَيْتًا فِيهِ سُورًا The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, The angels do not enter the homes where there is pictures and ornaments of dogs and pictures in the house. People, subhanAllah, I've been to some houses, you see the whole family on the wall. You see the wife, actually as soon as you want it, the wife, she's on the picture on the wall. It's like a trophy on the wall, subhanAllah. You think, and you tell people, they find it offending. Women are things to be hidden. They are pearls to be hidden. They, they are not things to be exposed. What did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say to the Prophet? He said, وَلَا تَبَرُّدْنَا وَقَرْنَا فِي بُيُوتِكُنَّا وَلَا تَبَرَّنَّا تَبَرُّجَ الْجَاهِلِيَّةِ الْأُولَى Allah says that tell your woman to stay at home. Does that mean lock 24 hours, 7 days a week at home? My brothers, my wife, she stays at home. Does that, that, does that not mean that I give her freedom? Of course if I give her freedom. I give her freedom within the boundaries. I let her do the shopping within the boundaries. I let her go out within the boundaries. I let her enjoy within the boundaries. We've got to understand our boundaries. We've got to understand our limits. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَا تَبَرُّجْنَا تَبَرُّجَ الْجَاهِلِيَةِ Do not expose. Women, mashallah, naturally Allah has gave that inclination. If a man sees a woman in the street, a sane man, not an insane man. If he sees a woman really dashing beautiful, he says, nothing happens to him. I'm telling you, this man must be an angel, not a human being. So, these things, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَا تَبَرُّجْنَا تَبَرُّجَ الْجَاهِلِيَةِ الْأُولَى And Allah says to the Prophet sallallahu about his wife when he speaks, speak behind the veil. Look at this today, nowadays. It is absolutely open. It is absolutely open. The next thing we need to be careful is who we meet friends, who we befriend. Our youngsters, we don't realize. We are, we are making friends on the Facebook. You might be not know him. He might be a child minus. Or he might be a predator who is trying to look for someone. So you have to be careful who you are making friends on the internet. Instagram, Facebook and name it what. You have to very be, be careful. And I clearly say, you see good people, mashallah, dari, sunnah, jubba. And you go and see their friend list. They got Jenny, Jenna, Jeffrey, this, that. They got all these friends on their friend list. If you listen to this khutbah today, brothers, disconnect from these kind of friendships on your Facebook. Why? Because what's, what's the need? What's the need? What do you want to see? I say this, remember this. If a man is looking elsewhere on via media, media or the social network, looking at pictures and photos and others, I guarantee you, guarantee you in the house of Allah, when you look at your wife, you will look in a different way. I guarantee you. So that's why Islam prevents us, it says in English, prevent is better than cure. Prevent is better than cure. So if you prevent yourself from these, you don't need to think about curing some. Some people are so addicted. Wives are complaining. Husbands are complaining. Children are complaining about wives, children, that they hours and hours they are sitting on the phone and too busy with their phone. Now, the thing that some people, they made this platform, this platform of using this internet free, is they made it a platform to learn their deen. Do not make this a medium or a platform to learn your deen. And the next thing is free mixing. Free mixing, absolutely. When you go on the internet, free mixing is the norm thing. There is a thing in Islam which is mahram. Mahram ghair mahram. When you go on the internet and you're making these friends, you're speaking to them, all these veils have been moving away. Why did the Sharia make these free mixes? Why did the Sharia keep these limits? So your daughters are not running away from home, brothers and sisters. For your wives not running away with another man. For someone else not chatting up your daughter. Why? 
So you have to be, be careful. The Sharia always gives us the prevention, not the cure. It tells us, do not go to that route. Prevent yourself from that route so that you don't fall into the trap. The next thing which I need to explain is the time wasting, the amount of time. If you give a child today a Quran, he won't even want to read it. You tell him, you force him to read, read, read. He doesn't want to read. You give him the computer, you give him a tablet, you tell him to sit down on the computer, trust me, hours pass, you don't even know where the time is going. I'm talking about my own experience. Hours pass. That's why we've got to keep that limitation. Weekdays, no computer in the house. Weekdays, no computer. Okay, weekend, one hour, two hour, that's fine. But not more than that. Weekdays, no computer. You've got to keep limits. Why? We are human beings, brothers. Because we fall into these problems. The next thing which I want to mention, as the Prophet said, is about Al Mujahirun. People exposing their sins. You will not believe. You will not believe. Today, our young girls, Muslims, not non Muslims, Muslims, young girls, our young brothers and young sisters, the way they boast and not Facebook, they're going into the next level. They're going to Instagram. One of my students was showing me, saying, he's saying, Imam Sal, you know, you won't believe children in our, in our society. They go out to clubs and they're dancing, they're drinking everything and then they put it all up on Instagram and he actually showed me the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said Kullu ummatin ma'afi illa al-mujahirun my whole ummah will be forgiven except for those people al-mujahirun qila ya Rasulullah wa ma al-mujahirun qala al-ladhi ya'malu al-amala bil-layl al-mujahirun is that who done a bad deed a sin in the night and then he exposed it in front of people when fasatarahu Allah fayakshifu fayakshifu Allah has hidden him. He says, Amal tul I have done so and so this in the night, and he exposes it in front of everyone. When Allah has hidden it, he exposes it in front of the public, in front of the people. So don't you think this shows that this is about today's modern technology? Now, before the, the cure is, before we understand, we need to understand how to regulate and understand how to use it. Before using it, we have to verify, be careful, not to text anything and everything any hadith we find we send on whatsapp some people post uh, paste copy send paste copy send anything people find and they send it to people why to mislead people the prophet sallallahu alaihi said whoever sends or makes any false accusation any hadith against me his abode will be in the fire of Jahannam. So we have to verify, be very care careful what we post in our WhatsApp, in our Facebook, in our Instagram. We have to be very, very careful. The next thing what we need to understand is there has to be a monitoring. You have to monitor your children. Don't be oblivious. Don't overlook and don't close your eyes and think my child is okay. He's an angel. He won't do this. You know, you're not going to do that. You won't believe. Sister, your daughter may be sitting upstairs and he may be speaking to John on the phone. Your son is maybe upstairs, he's speaking to Jenny on the phone. He's texting Jenny on the phone. You don't know. So you have to monitor your children. You have to monitor. I don't understand these youngsters when they go to secondary schools, when they go to college. They want to experience everything, what they can do after marriage anyway. Why? You can experience that after marriage anyway. Why do you want to experience it before? And once you get into marriage, then you say, why did I get married for? There's so much headache. So the thing is, we need to understand, we need to regulate ourselves. We need to regulate ourselves. Ibn Qayyim, just four things I'll say and I'll finish. Ibn Qayyim said that a person to realize how, gets, how does he get into addiction is that the first thing is the thought comes into the mind. Fight that. Whatever comes into your mind, fight it. If you can't fight that, it will become your desire. When it becomes your desire, it will become an action. When it becomes an action, it becomes a habit. And when it becomes a habit, it becomes addiction. It becomes addiction. And when it becomes addiction, either if you regard this as women, drinking, smoking, alcoholing, smack, or you can name it, whatever, it becomes your addiction. And moving an addiction, you need serious help. And a lot of children, a lot of youngsters, they need some serious help. People are not helping them. People are not speaking to them. May Allah help them. And the last point is, Please, and I say that clearly, don't go to Facebook and these media to go and look for a wife. May Allah protect us. This, this is not the medium for you to go to look for a wife. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept what has been said. Jazakallah khairan. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.